Centurion is waiting for you. waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. Right, son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. We Good. Bahad? Sensors online. Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Online. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Target acquired. Target acquired. Look at her go, eh? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and 
didn't try auto aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right. Then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Oi, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I've spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Captain Nelson. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the autocannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. Good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. 
Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Target. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Destroyed. Take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Target acquired. Target. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs, <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. Target acquired. Target. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you.
target. Yeah, nice work. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. to the base. We'll buy Pod a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Captain Mason, my senses are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. Come on, let's go. We need to get back to the base. to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go! Commander, the base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Uh, yeah. Copy that. We've come for the coordinates. We know you have them. Give them to us, and your family is safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously? Listen to her, Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late! Commander, sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible.
Commander, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna. Or as close as I have now. Besides, I'm gonna need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning, it's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl, won't let you down, you treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill, access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Hey?
Hey, Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood.